Hi there, my name is Lawrence Tyndall here at Glidefast Consulting, and in today's ServiceNow tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a catalog item with multiple currencies. Adding multiple currencies to your catalog items is extremely beneficial, especially if your organization operates in different countries and you offer the same products and services but in different currencies. Take for example, you have a Dell Latitude laptop available in the US for $1,000, but it's also available in your UK office for £900. With ServiceNow, you can set up the catalog item to include the US price and the UK price using each country's local currency. Please note, in ServiceNow, the currency that is displayed for a user is determined by the country code that is defined in their user account. For example, a user with France in their country code will see euros for all currency fields in the system, but a user with the United States in their country code will see US dollars. Now that we've covered the benefits of using multiple currencies in ServiceNow for your catalog items, let's go into ServiceNow and update an existing catalog item to include a price in US dollars and another price in British pounds. The first thing you'll want to do is go into the navigation filter and type in Maintain Items and click on the Maintain Items module located underneath the Service Catalog application. For today's example, we're going to add multiple prices to the existing Apple MacBook Pro 15-inch catalog item. I'm going to search for and open up the MacBook Pro catalog item. As you can see on the form, we already have a price in US dollars. To add additional prices in other currencies, click on the edit button next to the price field. You'll now be navigated to this price form where you can define additional prices. Before we add a new currency, we need to set the type to multiple, entered manually in each currency. This will enable us to add fixed currency amounts that don't change or convert based on other currencies. To add a new price in another currency, click on the new button located on the prices related list. From this form you can define the currency, the amount and the price type. In the currency field I'm going to enter GBP which is the currency of the United Kingdom, and in the amount field, I'm going to enter 900, and in the type field, I'm going to select multiple entered manually in each currency, which allows us to store a fixed single currency without it dynamically changing for users in other locales. Now that we've completed filling out this form, click on the submit button. You'll now be navigated back to the price form we were originally on, Click on the update button to be taken back to the catalog item form. Now that we've added an additional price in GBP, let's navigate to the portal and check out this catalog item. As you can see, the price is displayed in US dollars because my country code is set to the United States. Now I'm going to create a test user account called Bob Smith and I'm going to set his country code to the United Kingdom. Now if I impersonate Bob Smith and navigate to the portal, you can see that the same catalogue item is now being displayed with £900 as the price. And it's as simple as that, setting up your ServiceNow catalogue to use multiple currencies is a fairly simple task and it can provide you and your organisation with a lot of value, especially if you operate out of multiple countries. And that is all for this week's ServiceNow tutorial on how to create a catalogue item with multiple currencies in ServiceNow.